Hi, Space Pals. I'm Max, your all-American Space Eagle. How do you like my brand new space suit? Pretty awesome, right? Well, I'm going to be your guide on the most exciting adventure you will ever have. You're going to travel with me right out into space. And we're not going to stop with the planets either. We're going to go into that mysterious, endless region of deep space we call our universe, filled with galaxies and nebulae and all sorts of weird and exciting things that will blow your mind. <laughs> I want to introduce you to my young robot pal, Blinker. He's just a kid as robots go, so he's got a lot to learn about outer space. And it's my job to help him understand what space is all about. And besides, just imagine what he's going to see. Wow! Hi, fellow space travelers. I'm Blinker. It's nice to meet you, and we're going to have lots of fun together. I don't know about you, but I'm going to ask lots of questions. <laughs> I hope so, Blinker. Well, many different cultures throughout history contributed to rocket development. The Chinese were the first to design and build rockets over 1,000 years ago. The rockets they made were pretty primitive, but they did work. Then, for hundreds of years, the rocket was used just for warfare. As a matter of fact, India was the first to use rockets in a war against the British Army back in 1792. Lift off of the Delta II rocket with the Mars exploration. Witnessing a launch of a space shuttle blinker is something never to be forgotten. The suspense is overwhelming. Three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And the vehicle has cleared the tower. Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Tell me all about the International Space Station, Max. It really sounds awesome. Well, it really is, Blinker. The International Space Station, by the way, they refer to it as the ISS for short, is the largest and most complex international scientific project in the history of the world. Hold on, Blinker, while I power up. Ah, <laughs> we're ready, so here we go. Hey, Blinker, before we go too far, we have a really great mystery right here at home. Have you ever heard of crop circles? I think so, Max, but I don't know what they are. Do they have something to do with growing crops or plants? Well, not exactly. Actually, they're mysterious designs that have appeared in farmlands around the world. They have been found in over 30 countries for centuries, and over 200 different designs appear each year. <laughs> 